So here is the set I did last week on one of my regular ladies. Now most of you will know her. Um, I forgot to start filming. I'm sorry. Um, on the first nail. So I've started off with a black base after I've done my usual prep prime everything. Um, and then I'm using my wet brush to just tap in some of these gorgeous chameleon flakes. And this is in Andromeda. And these are kind of green, indigo, purpley, um they they make me think of like a duck's wing that makes sense like a starling wing um so that's what i've done with the first nail and then we're coming on to the ring finger um this is one of my regular ladies so most of you will know the story of her nails um i do have um permission from her doctor and her specialist to work on them uh, but sometimes there's a bit of separation, there's discoloration, it's not mould, it's not fungus, it's nothing like that. She has other medical conditions, so I'm allowed to work on them. And they've actually improved a lot since they've had the armour of acrylic protecting them. So I'm creating a crisp smile line on this nail. So I've placed a bead of my cover pink in the centre of the nail. I've then pulled it back and then I'm using the tip of my brush just to shape that smile line in there. And then I'm going to come in with another bead of that cover pink acrylic near the cuticle area and blend forward. Then I'm going to let this set a bit before I then tap this nail in clear acrylic. And while the other nail is setting, I've applied a thin clear base on the middle finger and then I'm creating a cover pink base before I then add some more of those chameleon flakes. And again, I'm using just a wet brush to pick up those chameleon flakes and just create a nice kind of like S swirly pattern on the nail. Um, now these flakes, a little goes a very long way. So I always, I tend to use a wet brush rather than a bead of clear acrylic because the bead of clear acrylic will pick up a lot of these flakes and you just don't need that many. Then heading back to that pinky finger and capping in clear acrylic. And then to that middle finger and capping that cover pink in clear acrylic. Now I like to do this in clear acrylic. You can do it in cover pink, it just looks really mannequin-y. Whereas a clear acrylic makes it look a little more natural. going to cap that cover pink nail in clear acrylic too. Then pointer finger, I'm going to do the same as I did with the little finger. So I'm applying a thin clear base and then I'm going to create a full colour now with the uh, black acrylic. This is Betty from Hazel Dixon. 
and then I'm going to apply some of those chameleon flakes but in the opposite corner to it that I did the little finger. And then when I'm happy with that placement, I'm then going to cap this in clear acrylic. And I'm going to take this opportunity to remind you guys that if you enjoy my content, don't forget to click on my channel, click on subscribe and make that bell ring. Then I'm going back to that ring finger, I'm going to file in that smile line before I then add the tip. And then I'm going to come in with that black acrylic, but I'm going to make sure I work in quite a thin layer because I'm going to add some of those chameleon flakes too. Then when I'm happy with that design work, I'm going to cap the tip in clear acrylic. And then on the thumb, I created a black base and then I applied the chameleon flakes in a similar pattern that I did on the cover pink nail. Then once they're all filed in, I'm going to create some very simple one stroke flowers. Um, again, I say this so often, I really need to practice my one stroke more. So it's been another couple of months since I've last done it again. So I've sped it up because my technique is not great and I'm not happy with it yet. They're not the worst flowers I've ever done, but I do really need to push myself to practice this more. Uh, but I just wanted to do some just like cute flowers and just pulling on the kind of turquoise green in those chameleon flakes. And then when I finish those, I'm going to top coat the nails. Remember, whenever you've done any hand painting, any stamping, anything like that, you always want to double top coat it to make sure it's not going to chip and crack and it's fully protected. So 
So that first coat I cured for about 10-15 seconds in my LED light and then I'm going to apply the um, second coat and obviously top coat all the other nails and then I will cure this for 60 seconds on my LED light. The reason I apply the first coat and cure for a reduced amount of time is because you only want it to be part cured so that then the second layer um, adheres to it properly. And when they're all cooled down, just applying my cuticle oil and we're done. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Um, as I said before in the video, don't forget to head on over to my channel. If you like my contact, contact, content, click on that subscribe button and make that bell ring. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all again soon. Bye. If you'd like to receive exclusive monthly content, then head on over to the channel homepage, click join and see what level might suit you. There'll be regular monthly exclusives and sneak peeks to suit every budget.